Well, 18 months, more than 120,000 man hours and $139 million later, this repair job is finally complete and the Qantas A380 that was damaged in the skies above Singapore is back. Alan Joyce himself has made the journey to Singapore to be on its first flight back to Sydney as well as a number of other airline executives on a plane that the engineers and the Czech pilots tell us is as good as new. Australia's biggest flying kangaroo ready to fly again. This whole lower wing skin down here was replaced. All four engines are new too. It looks a lot better than I saw it. So confident is Qantas this A380 is A-OK that the boss will be on board its first flight. With the original crew that flew the aircraft uh, 18 months ago, uh, we are very, all very happy to be on it. And I look forward to having my wife and two children, Alex and Sophia, on an A380 as soon as possible. It was November 2010 when QF32 hit trouble, just six minutes out of Singapore en route to Sydney. I do apologise. I'm sure you're aware we have a technical issue with uh, our number two engine. Hero breeze speared through the wing, then showered down on Indonesia as Captain de Krepny and his team made an emergency landing back in Singapore. That's where the aircraft's been since, undergoing one of the biggest repair jobs in aviation history. And earlier this week, rigorous test flights. We went through the complete uh, range of flight activities and tested all the systems thoroughly and the aircraft performed perfectly. And we were only ever going to put it back in the air when we're 100% confident it's okay. QF32 will depart from Singapore at 11.30 tonight and land back in Sydney tomorrow morning at 20 past nine. She'll then undergo a full detailed clean as well as some more checks before the first passenger flight on April the 28th. Back lots at Changi Airport in Singapore. Alan Joyce, flanked by Airbus engineers, is putting the repaired A380 back into service by handing it over to the crew who landed it after an engine blowout in November 2010. Hi Richard, how are you? Hi Richard. It's also a chance to explain to the boss how $139 million was spent on the repairs. The forward spar, which is the main structural piece that runs along the forward part of the wing, was replaced. Number two engine was replaced. Now, a lot of the time when um, I've heard, heard you speak, it's been a very uh, a corporate sort of uh, yeah. speak, which I totally understand and totally respect. But I just wonder if you could tell me about some emotion that you might have towards today. I think it's very emotional for all of us. I mean, this is the first A380 that we took. It's very special. I was there when Nancy Bird uh, was present when we named this aircraft. She's an amazing aviation legend in Australia. She, she survived until the aircraft was delivered. She actually told Airbus, deliver the aircraft because I want to live to see this aircraft arrive. It arrived in September of 2008. Nancy died in January 2009. We flew this aircraft over a funeral. It tipped its wings. It's a very special occasion for us. It represented an amazing pioneer of Australian aviation. And we're very pleased that our flagship is back in the air. And I think for these guys, it's even more emotional, uh, given what they went through 18 months ago. Oh, I mean, I think everybody in Qantas feels passionate about Qantas. That's one strong thing. You know, we might have our disagreements at times, but there's one thing we all love, and there's no doubt about it. It's this great organisation.